I am making this video because um, I get some questions sometimes about exactly how to fill out this graphic organizer. First and foremost, a graphic organizer is a note-taking strategy. Um, basically allows you to keep your thoughts organized as you work through uh, you know, a number of different texts. Um, and in this case, I'm pulling out certain things that are important for you to kind of remember um, associated with each text. So as you're going through this, I just want to note that there is no exact right or wrong way to fill this in. Again, this is a note-taking strategy, so this is designed to help you um, organize your thoughts as you get moving towards your essay and that will actually help you more easily write your essay when it comes time. So in this case um, I've listed the authors that you're going to read in this unit and you're going to read multiple works from some authors, one work from another. I don't expect you to take notes necessarily say on five or six different poems. Um, I want you to choose a one or two of the works um, and you know from each author and then make sure that you kind of have all of these boxes filled in with some information. So um, that's how I'll, I'll grade this for thoughtful completion, um, meaning that you have not just filled in the boxes with one or two words, but you've actually put you know, your, your notes in here. Um, so in this column, I suggest just writing the name of the work or the works that you wanna write information on that you might use in your essays. Um, here you might look at the elements associated with the movements um, and how that's portrayed through those works. So as you listen to the lectures, if uh, you know something about Ben Franklin's work speaks to a certain enlightenment element, you'll put it here. If something about um, you know Longfellow or Poe's works speak to a certain romanticism element, you might jot it down as a note here. Um, literary elements, these are really just taking notes on the literary elements that are discussed in those lectures. So uh, making sure that you take notes on anything that's mentioned as, say, in Franklin, an idiom or imagery or symbolism um, in Murray or the female poet that you choose to write. You know, what about that poem? What literary elements are important? What literary devices are important? Um, like I said, metaphor, symbolies, uh, symbolism, characterization, conflict, plot, whatever it might be. Um, and then last but not least, look at the, the historical context or biographical context around that work. So uh, what do you need to know about Ben Franklin um, as a founding father that's important to our understanding of his writing? Same thing with Jefferson. For example, you might say Jefferson um, you know, drew heavily on John Locke uh, when writing the Declaration. Uh, same thing with any of these other authors. So. Um, you can look at, like I said, the historical context, what was happening in the world. You could also look at the biographical context. Who were these people? Um, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. But again, this is, uh, you know, a completion grade. It's, as long as you're filling in all the boxes, you're, you know, doing the note-taking strategy, you should get 100 on it. Um, but if you have questions, feel free to let me know. And this is, again, designed really to help you so that when it comes to Andrea your essay, it's all the easier.